My name's Harry Morland. Uh, I originally from Rathcool, but I am now down working at the Trinity Presbyterian Church in Cork. I married Diane and have three grown-up children. Um, I am there at 17 years. My ministry in Cork is twofold. Um, the church we decided to open up to uh, everybody for the, to see that it was open, so we, we uh, adopt an open door policy. And it's amazing how many people come in and from different countries and also the different problems that some of them have. Some of them come in just for the, the, the sake of seeing the inside of a Presbyterian church, but others come in because there's a, a need in their life and the need to talk. So it's a, it's a great way of meeting people. And uh, to knock on doors, we would have to knock on thousands of doors to, to meet these type of people. The other aspect of my ministry is working in the streets of Cork uh, with an organisation called Cork Past or Street Pastors. Uh, it means that we're out on the streets on a Saturday night once a month from 10 o'clock uh, to 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, you'd be amazed how many times you meet people there. Uh, there's three to 4,000 and it's great to time to, to really get close to people. We don't evangelise as such in terms of, of talking about our faith openly in front of people, but you'd be amazed again how many times people ask us why we do it, and it gives us an avenue to actually talk about our faith. This is a positive step by the church, not just the Presbyterian Church, but the wider church in Cork, to come together to set aside perhaps our doctrinal differences, but to focus on helping people. Street pastors listen, care, and help. And I believe it's a vital ministry in Cork at this moment in time. It means that people can see the church is real and in their lives. And you know that you're making a difference when people talk to you about meeting you or meeting a team, another team perhaps a month ago. We help those who are perhaps incapable of helping themselves. Uh, and also offer flip-flops to, to the girls that have walked around in those fashion high heels. Uh, people will say in many ways, you know, that we're, we're helping people who have got themselves into that state. But to the mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters of those people, we are providing a reassurance that someone on the streets of Cork is looking out and after their, their particular people. My prayer requests are that you would remember us each Saturday night as we go out onto the streets of Cork. Um, there we meet we meet different people, so just pray that we would be the, uh, and show the love of Christ in into people's lives. Other prayer requests are for the summer camp with Macarah Presbyterian Church in a small village down in Cork called Ahara. Um, it is a growing ministry into that that particular community. And I would value your prayers for that. Uh, it will begin in July the 6th, the first, the first week of, of July. So I would value your prayers for that. For the ongoing ministry of people coming in, would you continue to ask God to draw people into the church? Not for the odd to our, our statistical analysis or, or population, but that we would be real in people's lives. Thank you very much for your prayer support throughout the year.